now that we have our form ready we are going now to submit a new form request a post request sorry use containing the or the not not data let's say the title and the content to our backend so the first thing we do let's try and see if our api is working correctly we are going to try and submit a post request to our backend you can use a postman which is what i am currently using we'll just try to submit a simple um, post request to see if the api is working and as you can see you'll get an error telling you that the authentication credentials are not provided if you head over to the project folder which is Django Go. under settings you will see default permission on the rest framework setting currently we are set it to read only if the user isn't authenticated to the system that's where you are getting an error telling you you have not provided the credentials because you are trying to perform a right operation but you are not authenticated so let's first uh, comment that out and try it again to see if it will work and well a note with this title already exists so let's change it to try postman again let's see and there it is you can see we have a new note which has been created so we are sure our backend is working properly so now we head over to our bo component we are going now to add a method which will be used uh, now to submit the form to our backend you can give it uh, any name that you want i'll just call it submit note and here we you remember we created our api file so we are going to import this file so that we can access uh, the functions which we had created earlier so we are going to import uh, api api from api slash index and now we are going to use that uh, api and reference to our node function which will be used to either pull or uh, submit data to the backend api and the first parameter we see it's the method so we are submitting a, a post request the second parameter is uh, parameters which uh, we are not passing any parameters for now so that's a null then the other one is the, the data the data now this will be our not data that's the title and the contents which you have uh, configured them to fit in the form data model so we just need to call the model the object sorry form form data then if that's uh, successful we are going to return some response I promise now we can set either a success message uh, let's just use uh, this variable which was created there so we can use this dot message we can we can say it was saved else if that uh, didn't happen or if we encountered any error we can catch the exception then we will uh, let's let's just uh, assign it to the same message variable we will create a better notification in future episodes so don't worry much about that now here we will just uh, issue the response which uh, will now include either, either a failure or any error which was encountered 
So if we go back to our API, you'll see we have our function. And first of all, if you can remember in our postman request, we use the API slash notes not API version one. So we make that uh, correction. And we have to check if the user is submitting either a post request or a get request. So to do that, we use the, the if statement. If method is equals to a post request, the user will be able to perform or submit the data. Else for now, we'll still add the update and delete functionality. But because we don't have that for now, we are just pulling and posting data. You can just use the else statement. If uh, this is not provided, then we will just uh, pull the data from our backend. So, yeah, we are going to add. You can see you have the URL which you have submitted there. We have the method, which our method will just be passed from the component. So, we'll just call it. Then, the third option is either a parameter of the data and now because we are doing a post request we are going to submit uh, the data not the parameters yeah so I guess that's all for now in our API now let's try and now add that action to our form and see if we can actually save some data note a note to our backend let's inspect so that we can be able to debug any error that was thrown so let's say this is our first first note testing publishing note so let's submit it and as you can see we have an error so we can try and uh, display our message above here so that we can know what's happening so if you refresh the page let's say testing testing notes and you submit you go you can see we have the saved so this tells you that we have submitted the post request and the post the note which you had submitted was successfully saved in the database now let's use postman to see if actually that happened and if you see browse through our notes you'll be able to see this is our first node and testing not so actually the form was submitted and the article our note no, that not necessarily the article our note was saved in the database so in the next video we are going to pull data and uh, we are going to display it in a list the form of a list maybe where user can click to view more details about the note so if you have any challenges in this one check the link down in the description for my forum you can post any question you have there then you can see how i can help you through it thank you and see you in the next one